Hello, it's me Flora, welcome back or welcome if you're new. This is a video on easy things you can do to be more sustainable. These are all extremely easy and if you don't already do these, please implement them right now. I'm not going to sit on a high horse and pretend like I'm the queen of sustainability because I am far from that. I'm trying my best given my own circumstances and I guess the takeaway message of this video is to try your best, every little bit counts, and educate yourself on how you can improve your carbon footprint. I've left resources in the description so go check those out after you've watched this. Sorry for the long intro, here are 5 simple ways to start being sustainable. 1. Reuse food scraps. I think the best way to start reducing food waste is to realise how much food waste you're producing by observing what goes into your landfill and then start to find ways to reduce that. Whether it be to use low waste or zero waste recipes when cooking or baking, this orange cake used the entire orange with its peels and I don't have a compost setup, but I try to use the eggshells by crushing them up and putting them into my garden. You can reuse food items such as banana peels which I chop up, put into water to soak and use that banana water as plant fertiliser. You can also regrow some plants. Here is a winter melon seed starting to sprout. I'm really hoping that it will grow, fingers crossed. 2. Collect water from your shower. While you're waiting for your shower to spurt out warm water, collect that cold water in a watering can or some sort of large container which you can then use to water your plants or if you're in a dire circumstance where water has been cut, you can use that cold water. There is a surprising amount of water that is collected. This whole point is irrelevant if you have instantly hot water or if you're stronger than me and enjoy the cold water, in which cases, good for you. 3. Use reusable bags. If you're carrying a plastic bag, I don't, I don't think, think you're, you're the, devil. the devil. Maybe you just forgot it at home or the item you bought is soaking wet or oily or something. I don't want to judge. If you can, bring a reusable bag with you wherever you go so that you won't forget. I also understand the temptation of buying a new tote bag so that you have a cool looking reusable bag, but if you've got some sort of strong plastic bag that works, use them before you throw them out because even though they may not look as nice, if they still work as a bag, use them first. 4. Wear your clothes for longer and repair or renew items of clothing. I'm someone who loves fashion, but ever since I heard about fast fashion about 5 years ago, I've drastically limited the number of clothes I buy each year, from around 10 to 2 items of clothing per year. But to be fair, I haven't grown taller, so a lot of the clothes from when I was 10 still fit. Yes, I am a hoarder. I hoard as many clothes as I hoard craft supplies. If you're someone who regularly buys new clothing and only wears them for a couple of times before throwing them out or donating them, Try to stop that. Wear your clothes for as long as you can and try to fix any holes or issues you have. For example, holes in socks can be easily fixed by hand and even if you have bad craftsmanship with your sewing skills, as long as the thread matches the fabric, you'll barely notice it, especially if it's your socks. Only your shoes will judge you and if your shoes are anything like mine, they'll be chill with it. Not many people know this, but shoes are actually very tolerant to fashion crimes. 5. Turn off the lights when exiting rooms. If you leave the room for over 15 minutes and still have the lights on, why? Who is in there? If your room is not in use, turn off the darn light. You don't need them on. This was one of the most important things to do when I was in primary school. Kids turn off lights and reminding teachers to when leaving the room. But for some reason, once high school comes in, leaving a giant failed exam shaped hole in the wall of your life, people just lose common sense or lose some sort of respect. Why? Can, Can someone tell me in the comments, in the comments because, because I would love to know. Anyways, that is all. Basically, try to reduce your waste in food, water, plastic, clothing, and electricity. Once you've realized what is wrong, try to change it. Don't let others judge you for trying your best and don't give up. It can be super overwhelming watching people fit their year's worth of waste into a 500 milliliter jar, but every little action you take counts. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. I've got a goal of hitting 100 subs by the end of the year. Turn on all notifications. I promise I will not spam you. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.